everybody, thank you for watching. Oh, how I've missed you guys. I feel like it's been forever since I've been sitting down and filming a video for you guys. But today, I'm back, and I figured since back to school is literally right around the corner, I apologize for those of you that still have to go back. So I figured for today's video, I was gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna do half of my face drugstore and then the other half higher end. And hopefully that way you guys can see that if you find the right drugstore products, you can really recreate any look that I've used in the past or any look really out there whatsoever. You don't need to go out and spend all of this money on makeup because guaranteed you're gonna get a very, very similar look. So some of these drugstore products I have not tried yet. So what I figured I would do is, again, do half my face, half my face, and then kind of update you guys throughout the day and let you know how it's all holding up. Also, before I get into today's video, tomorrow is the launch of my Carly Bible collection with Misguided. So anyone who wasn't able to get it the first round, fingers crossed that you can all get what you want. They ordered literally like quadruple the amount of the first round. So hopefully that way everybody can get what they want. So I just wanted to mention that as well, but other than that, let's get right into the video. Let me know if you guys want me to do a drugstore haul. I kind of picked up like a bunch of products just because I wanted to make sure I had the right stuff to get this video completed today. But um, the first product that I'm going to be using is this e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. I have not tried this one yet. I have tried the NYX one, the NYX Poreless before, and I did really like that one, but I figured, let me try a different one. And plus, I really like e.l.f., so I wanted to use a little bit more of e.l.f. products. So I'm going to do, I guess, my left side with the drugstore. So I'm just gonna apply this all over the left side of my face. It kind of smells like, I didn't mean to do that. Kind of smells like eucalyptus a little bit. I wonder if there's any eucalyptus in it. As some of you know, I was on vacation last week, so I don't know if you could tell, but my whole forehead is peeling. It actually doesn't look as bad now, I think because my tan is kind of fading a little bit, but it was like really bad for the first couple of days. Oh, there's tea tree oil. That's probably what I smell then. And then for the higher end side, I'm using the Tarte Clean Slate Poreless Primer. I also wanted to mention that all of the products that I'm using today are cruelty free. So if you guys can make the effort, you can find a really, really great products that are not tested on animals. So that has also been another thing that I've been not struggling with, but it's been about finding new products that I really like that are cruelty free and swapping out all of my non cruelty free items. Like for instance, if I were to film this video last year, I probably would have used a lot of like L'Oreal and Maybelline and all of that. And today I went to the store and I just only wanted to get anything cruelty free. So I picked up some Elf, some NYX, and also um, Physician's Formula. I also know that Milani is cruelty free. They didn't sell it at the Harmons that I was at though. It's nice to make an effort because I know a lot of you guys are animal lovers. So if you can buy a product that is not promoting the animal cruelty, why wouldn't you do it, right? It just makes sense. So from just applying the primer, I'm going to have to say that so far the Tarte looks like it blurred my pores a little bit more, but we shall see as far as the foundation and all of that. So since this is a back to school look, I wanted to do like a BB cream and I wanted to keep it pretty lightweight, that way it's more realistic. I mean for me, I love layers and layers and layers, that's just how I like to do my makeup, but today I'm gonna to keep it pretty natural that way. I'm not gonna say natural because for some people natural is like one layer, but um, I'm gonna keep it pretty simple, that's a better word. So it's so funny, I went and I picked out a couple foundations and also BB creams today, and when I got home, all of them were just way too light, which is crazy, and I also went into my stash of BB creams and they were all too light as well. I just got really tan when we were in Jamaica, and luckily I had a really dark NYX tinted moisturizer, so I'm gonna blend in. This one is in the color Almond, and I'm gonna mix that in with the NYX BB Cream. I don't think I've ever had this problem that I can't find, oops. Well, that cap just fell on the floor and got all over my floor. Um, but the best part about my floors in my beauty room is that they are tile, so it's tile that looks like wood, so if anything spills on it, it wipes right up, which is literally perfect for me. So after mixing it, it's basically the closest I think I'm gonna get to my skin tone, but with everything else that I'm gonna be applying, if it's not perfect, it's okay. So I'm just gonna dot that onto my face. And when you're finding a BB cream or anything that matches your skin, just always match it to your chest. That way, when you blend it on your face and your neck, it's not gonna be a different color. Now I have my damp beauty blender, and I'm just gonna push it into my skin. I always liked using BB creams when I was in school because they're a lot lighter on your skin, especially when it's still warm out, like 
September, maybe a little bit of October, it's still gonna be pretty warm. And then for the higher end side, I'm gonna be using the Tarte Amazonian Clay BB Cream. This one is definitely one of my favorites. This is a little lighter, but, but again, we'll make it all work. I owe you guys a smoothie recipe video. Don't think I forgot, because I didn't. So next I'm just gonna contour my nose. I'm gonna use the LA Girl Pro Conceal. This is my all time favorite nose contour product like ever. So I'm not gonna use a higher end product because I never personally use a higher end product to contour. So again, this part is also optional. Most people don't contour their nose on a daily basis for like a natural look. But for me personally, I feel more comfortable with my nose contoured. So I'm just gonna do that really quick with again, the LA Girl Pro Conceal and Beautiful Bronze. I believe these are like two or three dollars or something like that. So before I blend the nose in, I'm gonna conceal. I'm gonna be using on the drugstore side the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Creamy Beige. And I'm just gonna apply this like right under my eyes, a little bit there. Um, and you know what, I'll just do this for the center because I can't really split it. And then a little bit on your chin, and like a little bit up there. And then for the higher end side, I'm using the NARS Creamy Concealer in the color Ginger. This one's my favorite. So again, a little bit under the eyes, on the chin, a little bit up here. Eh, that should be good. I also have the Pro Conceal in Warm Honey. It's a little bit darker. I'm just gonna apply a tiny bit on there just because Again, I'm really, really tan right now and my normal colors just aren't working for me. I'm gonna just blend my nose in with my fingers a little bit. And then I'm gonna blend out the concealers in a downward triangle, as always. After blending in my under eyes, I would say the NARS has a little bit fuller coverage from what I'm noticing, but it's nothing that drastic whatsoever. So compared to each other, I'm actually really happy with how the LA Girl is holding up. So before I set my concealer, I'm gonna go in with brows. For the drugstore side, I'm using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the color Espresso. And for brow powder, I'm using by Salon Perfect. Um, I forget the exact name, but it's like the brow powder. I'll link it for you guys. And that's just to fill it in. Of course I lost my eyebrow brush when we came back from Jamaica. I don't know if it's in my bag somewhere, but I can't find it, so this little brush will have to do. And then for the higher end side, I'm going to be using my Anastasia Brow Wiz in the color Dark Brown. going and to fill them in with powder I'm using the dark brown brow powder also by Anastasia so next I'm gonna set my under eyes I can't find my NYX loose powder I have searched everywhere and I just can't find it so I'm gonna use the NYX stay matte but not flat powder foundation to set underneath my eyes so I'm just gonna blend out the little wrinkles and then set it with this. I'm gonna use my Beauty Blender. And just push the product under the eye. And this is gonna help prevent any creases throughout the day.
And then for the higher end side, I'm going to use the Kat Von D foundation powder as well. Normally I would use a loose powder, but since I couldn't find the loose powder on this side, I want to do the exact same products. That way you guys can get the same result. So I'm just going to blend out the wrinkles again. And then set it with this. To set the nose contour on this side, I'm going to be using this grayer tone from the NYX Contour Palette. I'm just going to be going right over those lines. And for the higher end side, I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Shade and Light and I'm going to be grabbing the gray tone in that as well. With that same NYX foundation, I'm gonna be taking a little bit on this brush and I'm just gonna be blending out the sides, like just patting it really on top of that brown we just applied. That way it's gonna look more natural. So again, I know this is a lot of steps, but if you want to contour your nose, this is how it's gonna look the most natural. If you don't, then you can just skip all these steps altogether. And I'm picking up the Kat Von D and doing the same thing. Just going right over those brown lines, tapping and then swiping up. So today I also picked up this e.l.f. bronzer palette, if I can get it. If I'm using drugstore products, I usually use the NYX contour kit, so if you want to just use that, you can use that as well, but I figured I would try out a new product today. So it has two mattes and two shimmer bronzers in it. I'm going to probably have to mix these two. This one looks a little pink, this one looks a little light, so we'll see. I'm going to mix the two of them and just start contouring or just bronzing up really. I'm gonna apply a little bit under on my neck and also on my chin or my jawline. <laughs> and then I'm gonna apply the Kat Von D on the other side. So in my opinion, of course there's always going to be some products that are favorites over others, but I really feel like brushes and technique can really, really change how a product can work on your face. So like, for instance, right now I'm not really seeing a huge difference. It kind of looks like I just did my face all with the same products, which is really cool, which was what I was hoping for, but I mean, you just never know. I've never, I don't think I've ever done half drugstore, half high end. Maybe I did. I have a really bad memory. For blush, I'm going to be using the Milani Powder Blush in Awakening Rose. It's like a pretty mauve color. I have bear's hair all over my brushes. No surprise. And let's see how this color looks. Hmm. This is really pretty. It kind of is like almost like a highlighter blush. Like it has a lot of like shimmer in it. Not shimmer, but like shine to it. I don't know if you could see. I really like this. I've never tried these Milani brushes. Brushes. I've never tried these Milani blushes before, but I really like how that's looking. I tried to find the closest one possible. This is a Tarte blush. I did panned all of them, so there's no names. I'm gonna try and figure out which one this is though. I'm gonna apply that on the higher end side. So this one's matte, unlike the Milani. I'm not gonna lie, I like the Milani better. I love this color, for sure. But I kinda like how the Milani gives you a little bit of a sheen because you guys have probably noticed, but I haven't put highlighter on my face, like on my cheeks, and I don't even know how long. Just because I want it to match, I'm gonna apply a little bit of that Milani over it. Give it that pretty shine. You can still see like there's some powder foundations left on my Beauty Blender, I'm just gonna push that into my skin, that way it's gonna kinda blend in that powder with the blush, and the blush isn't so harsh. So you could see, it already toned it down a lot. So 
So for shadow, I'm gonna keep it really simple on the eyes. I picked up this Physicians Formula Shimmer Strips. This is what it looks like. I haven't tried it yet. They feel almost like, kinda like cream shadows a little bit. What do I wanna do? I guess I'm gonna pick the second color down. It's kind of like a champagne shimmer and I'm gonna apply that on my eyelid. Ooh. And there's a lot of fallout with this. Lovely. So be careful. So your best option is using like a setting spray, dipping your brush. Where did my brush go? Does anyone ever do that? Like you use something, you put it down and then it just goes missing? Like. I don't understand. So I'm dipping it into my setting spray and I'm gonna pick up a little bit more. Hopefully this time it won't get all over. So I was originally gonna do like high-end verse drugstore on my whole face, but you know what? I think since my face is looking basically all the same, I'm gonna go in with just drugstore products for my eyes, since usually when, do you guys see what just happened? Like, the brush is in my hand, like it's right here. I just don't understand. I'm gonna do the same eyeshadow on this eye. So I'm gonna dip it first, and then apply. I really like how sparkly this is. Not gonna lie. And then I'm gonna grab a large fluffy blending brush and I'm gonna grab a little bit of this top bronzer, just a tiny bit, and I'm just gonna apply that in my crease, just a little bit. The reason that I like to add a tiny bit of like shadow into my crease is because it adds a little bit of dimension, it opens up your eyes, so. If you wanna skip the sparkly step altogether, you could just Apply a little bit of bronzer or even like a brown matte shadow in your crease and it'll help open up your eyes and it won't look like you have any makeup on. But I like the sparkle. So since we're sticking with just drugstore for the eyes, I'm going to be using this brown gel liner by e.l.f. They make it kind of difficult to get out. This is it. So I'm going to use this e.l.f. one. It's called coffee. You guys can use a black one if you guys prefer, but I always use black and I figured brown's a little bit lighter for school and for like an everyday type of look. Just a little baby wing. For mascara, I'm using, I've never tried this one before, it's the Argon Wear Mascara by Physicians Formula. It came in a cute little bottle so I figured I'd try it out. When I do lashes, I like to do the bottom and the top. Especially if I'm not wearing falsies because it makes them thicker. What is this? Where'd this get under my eye already? <sighs> Come on. And then for the higher end side, Tarte Lights Camera Flashes. Cause this is my other current one I always use. I would say they did a decent job. I'm going back to this palette and I'm picking up this shade right here and I'm just gonna apply that in my tear duct. And I'm gonna take a little bit as well and I'm applying that on the bridge of my nose. For lips, I'm gonna be using my NYX Pencil in Natural. I wear this like almost every night while we were away. It's just one of my favorite drugstore lip products. I mean, it's one of my favorites altogether anyway, but um, I figured I'm just gonna do drugstore lips.
And I just apply that all over my lips because I'm really into matte lips, obviously. It's all I ever wear. Um, and I just think it's like such a good, natural, everyday type of color. I think this lip color looks really great with the blush and the overall look. And then to finish off this look, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Setting HD High Definition Setting Spray. Long lasting and matte finish. And I always recommend like a matte finishing spray because if you're gonna use that dewy spray, I just feel like sitting in school all day, you're gonna get oily and a little bit greasy anyway, so the matte will help keep it looking nice and matte. Another thing that I recommend bringing is either a mattifying powder or even the foundation powder that you use. Put it in your purse, that way throughout the day if you get a little bit oily or anything like that, you can just kind of blot it and keep it looking matte and fresh all day. So I'm actually very pleasantly surprised with how this turned out. I feel like the drugstore on the high end side look exactly the same. I'm gonna go in natural lighting so you guys can see my makeup in natural lighting because right now I have my ring lights in front of me. But overall, I'm actually really, really pleased. So, yay! Look at my little sleepy boy who's up all night. You hanging with mommy while she films? Are you a sweet little babe? Where's Bobo, your brother? He's not here with you. <laughs> Cindy on the shelf, also keeping mommy company. My sweet girl, all her hair is growing back. She's becoming so fluffy again. Hallelujah. So I'm gonna go out my front door so you guys can see how it looks in some natural light. It's bright today. It's hot today. All right, yeah, this probably was not a good area actually. I'm gonna go in the back. Hey, how's it going, little boo? How's it going, big boosh? You get so big. Oh, my big boy. Oh, my big boy. Look at these little thumbs. We've got some big, big mitts. We brought him to the um, vet to get his third round of shots, and the vet was like, he's going to be huge. He's already like seven pounds, and he's only like six months. And look at, just look at this, though. <laughs> Yeah, just sleep all day and then keep me up all night, okay? You know, your usual thing. This right now is like, I feel like the best lighting. I'm standing right in front of my door. So you can see there's no ring lights or anything like that in front of me. So I'm actually very pleasantly surprised with some of the new products that I tried out, which is awesome. And it looks great in natural lighting too, which is also really awesome. Yeah, so typical filming attire, guys. Dress, sweats, cat hair all over the sweats. And a baby. Hi. <laughs> Hi guys, so I've been editing all day. It's currently 6.11. I just wanted to give you guys an update on how my makeup's holding out. I went upstairs to just add a little bit more mascara because I have a severe problem where I just pick it off all day. Me and Brett are running out to get some sushi really quick and I for a second was like, oh, okay, the drugstore one held out a little bit better. But then when I remembered that this was the side that I did my, um, did I say drugstore? I meant the higher end was better. But then when I was looking in the mirror, my higher end side, I had like all like creases under my eye and this side stayed pretty much perfectly. So I would have to say overall, Brett's walking in behind me, it's okay. I would have to say overall, drugstore just as good. For this look specifically, of course, So, as I was saying, I think the drugstore side actually held up a lot better. And as I've been editing the video and seeing all the prices, you guys, if you are on a budget, do not feel like you need to go out and buy all these high-end products. Of course, it's nice to have some because we all love some higher-end products, but for, but for an everyday type of look, don't feel like you need to use all the products that we're constantly using in our tutorials and everything like that. So we're off to go get food right now, so this video will definitely be up tonight. I'm almost done editing it now. I'm just gonna add this little clip in at the end. So we just got back from dinner. Don't mind me, I already picked off all my mascara because I'm crazy. And when I don't wear fake lashes, I just pick them off, but I wanted to let you guys know that the gel liner, I think, is the only thing that I'm not so happy with. It didn't really hold up too well. So I just wanted to let you guys know because I know I mentioned all the drugstore products were great, which they really all were. And maybe if I added a little bit more on the gel liner, it would have been better. But it is fading a little bit, which usually my eyeliners don't fade that much. So I just wanted to point that out. 
So I was gonna do like a chit chat and tell you guys what's been going on in this video, but I figured since there's probably a lot of people watching this that maybe don't know me that well or don't really care, I figured I'd keep this till the end of the video, but I just wanted to let you guys know, obviously, we all know I've been not really active that much on YouTube the past couple of months, and I filled you guys in. You guys know I recently moved, and it's been a lot with the house and everything like that, but that really it has not been the main thing. I really haven't felt like myself the, the past couple of months. I've been like in this weird mood all the time, and I've been very like stressed and very like upset over things that like normally would never affect me. And as you guys know, I've been suffering with eczema really, really bad as of lately. I've had it for probably at least 10 years, but it's always come and gone, and it was never that severe. But ever since like March, April, my eczema has not gone away whatsoever. So normally like, certain places like for instance on my hand and on my legs like it's bearable I can like live with it it's not something that's gonna affect my daily life but to get a little bit personal I also have eczema on private areas as well top and bottom so that's what makes it super super hard for me because it's just so itchy and I've gone to like three or four different doctors and finally I went to a doctor who I know for sure is going to be helping me. Um, I've gone to so many dermatologists and they've just prescribed me steroid creams and everything like that and it got to a point where steroid creams don't even work for me anymore. I've been researching about eczema for so long and I know that it's something internal so I finally went to a doctor who knows that eczema is internal because I feel like every dermatologist you go to they just want to make money and they just want to send you to the pharmacy to go pick up a prescription that costs a hundred dollars and that isn't going to work or it's a temporary fix. So I finally found somebody who is trying to heal me from the inside out. So when I went to see him, I found out that I have um, leaky gut syndrome, which means I have holes in my digestive tract, which means that everything that I'm digesting, food and everything like that, is not getting to all of my organs properly. So I am like 90% protein deficient and like there's so many other things that are just really wrong with my body. So the doctor was explaining to me how with all of this strain going on inside of my body, my gallbladder has been sending out like lots of stress and I've just been not my, so it makes sense as to why I haven't been myself because really all of my organs inside are just like not getting the proper nutrients that they need and they're just constantly stressed and I'm constantly itchy. So it's kind of like a whole crazy scenario that if you don't have eczema you maybe won't understand but I'm happy to know at least that the reason that I haven't really been feeling like myself is because my inner body is not working properly. So I'm on a bunch of supplements right now trying to stop the problem and then I'm gonna go back to him and start healing the problem. So fingers crossed that I will be 100% back to myself again very soon. So you guys get to really only see like a little percentage of my life and I never ever want to come on video and like be sad or depressed or anything like that. I always like to be happy and show you guys like my happy side because you all make me happy and I know some of you watching my videos get happy watching my videos. So you guys really haven't seen the struggle as much. You kind of heard me complain about it a little bit but you really don't know how much it's really been bothering me. So like every single day I've been taking salt baths, Epsom salt baths and oatmeal baths because it's the only thing that's really soothes the itch. So like when I tell you I'm itchy for hours on end and it's like the worst areas ever and my skin is just inflamed and then the one on my leg got infected from scratching it so much. So it really has been like a little bit crazy on this end. So I do apologize. I really haven't been myself lately and I promise that I am going to be back in the swing of things. This is my second video this week and I will be getting my Jamaica vlog up this week as well. I also know that my giveaway winners will be announced before the end of the month so don't think I forgot about that. It's just any free time that I have if I'm not cleaning and organizing and doing stuff for the house, I'm in bed or I'm laying on the couch because I'm trying to prevent myself from itching myself. So thank you guys so much for bearing with me. I, I know majority of you guys understand, but for those of you who've been upset with me that I haven't been so active, I do really apologize and I promise this was only temporary. YouTube is my number one and I never ever want to stop making videos, of course, as I always say, as long as you want to continue to see them. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I Look forward to filming a lot more videos for you guys. Let me know if you guys want more drugstore makeup tutorials, if you want more back to school videos. I know last year I did a back to school like outfit video. Let me know if you guys want something like that as well. I'm always up for suggestions and I have a whole list of videos that I do plan on filming for you guys as soon as possible. Thank you guys again for bearing with me during this crazy time. I'm trying to figure out everything and trying to get myself better and that's the number one because I, I really want to be myself all the time, not just when I'm filming for you guys. I want to feel like myself every single day, all day, even if I'm not filming. So 
that is really it. Um, again, my clothing line launches tomorrow. I don't have an exact time yet, but as soon as I get that info, I will be posting it. And I will be posting on all my social media as soon as it goes live as well. They, as I said, they ordered so much more than the first round, so I'm hoping it doesn't sell out for at least a couple days, a couple weeks, anything like that. So fingers crossed everyone can get what they've been waiting for. Thank you all so much for your love and support with my collection so far, with my palette. It's just been so amazing and this is what has been keeping me going through some of the personal struggles that I've been dealing with at home. So I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and until next time, I'll see you guys later. There's no words to say it. I'll find